Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is um, the Unsearchable Riches of Christ coming to you once again. This is Minister Robinson <clears throat> Vessel, uh, just a vessel that God is using. And I'm so grateful, hallelujah, to be used by the Lord for the edifying of his people. Hallelujah is for his glory. It's all about him. Uh, we thank him this, today for being so good, so kind to us. But we want you to go with us to the book of Mark. And we're in the seventh chapter where Jesus healed the man who was deaf. He was deaf as well as mute, unable to speak and unable to hear. And the disciples, many of the people there, uh, had come to him and begged him to lay his hands on this man. Let us read from the scriptures. We're in Mark, the seventh chapter. And this is right after Jesus had fed the 5,000 and had done many miracles. He walked on the sea and his disciples saw him do all of these things. And so now, uh, to their amazement, I mean, God was really uh, upset with them. Excuse me, just a moment, please. Thank you. God was upset with them because uh, he told them, he said to them in uh, St. Mark 7 and 18, he says, are you thus without understanding also? Because he expected them to understand and they couldn't understand, but they could hear, but they couldn't understand. How was it that he was doing all these things? It was by the spirit of the true and living God, that he was God created in the flesh. Hallelujah. And he came to deliver mankind. And he was, they were seeing him deliver, deliver, one deliverance after another. And yet the Bible said <clears throat> they were without understanding. Jesus said to them, do you not perceive that whatever enters a man from outside cannot defile him, but his, uh, it does not enter his heart, but it enters into his stomach. And then the food is purified and, of course, released from the body. But the things that were in the heart, this is what Jesus was saying to them. From within and out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, law, lewdness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. Now we know the word of God says that foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. So is this after the flesh? Yes, it is. It is after the flesh. All of these things are. Pride is after the flesh, certainly is. The flesh wants to be something that it's not. Thefts, covetousnesses, uh, <clears throat> all of these things proceed out of the heart. And once those spirits get a hold of you, only God can set you free. But today we want to talk to you about hearing. You know, all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, we see Jesus tells his people to hear me. He says, hear what I'm saying. Hear me. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Well, this particular man was deaf. He could not hear. Excuse me. <clears throat> he couldn't hear. And so they had begged Jesus to lay your hands on him. Let him hear. And Jesus did. Jesus, the Bible says, he put his fingers in the man's ear. And he spat mm -hmm, on the man's tongue. He put spit, his spit, on the man's tongue. And the scripture said that his tongue was, the bands of his tongue were loosed. He was loosed. His tongue was bound up. He couldn't hear to understand. So he couldn't speak. But what God is saying to us today is that he has loosed our ears. He has loosed them to hear. Ephatha. Ephatha. Be opened. 
We say in the name of Jesus, be opened, your ears be opened to hear what thus saith the Lord. Even in the book of Revelations, the whole, uh, while Jesus is commenting and telling us what happens in the seven different churches of Asia, he says, let him that had an ear to hear, hear what the spirit of God is saying to the church. What? We got to hear it first. And then we can speak it. But we have to hear what thus saith the Lord. Look at this scripture. This is, I tell you, God is a good God. All the time he walked the earth, he was telling man, all you have to do is say what I'm saying. Say what you hear me saying. Look what he said. Matthew 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light. And what ye hear in the ear. That preach ye upon the housetops. Hear what the Lord is saying. We got to hear him before we can say anything. So he is telling us today that he is speaking. And whoever has ears to hear. Listen, we have to go to Ephatha. If, if Lord, be opened. Open our ears, O oh God. Let us hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. Let us hear you, Father. Let us hear you, and we will say what it is that we have heard. We are speaking spirits. We are speaking spirit. The church, that is. That is the water baptized, blood cover, blood washed in the name of Jesus, filled with the Holy Ghost and power. And I do believe that God honors faith. So if you don't have all that, yet you have faith to hear what God is saying, God will do it. He will do it. You can hear him, hallelujah, and speak it out in the earth realm. Bring it down from the heavens because that's where you're getting it from. You're hearing the spirit of God and he will speak it through you and bring it to pass in the earth realm. Amen. So. Ephatha, be opened. That's what it means. Be opened. All the way through the Bible, God is saying, whatever you hear in the ear, that you speak. He says, he that has ears to hear, let him hear. And you, you see what he said? He said, ears. Both of your ears. He put his fingers in both of that man's ears. And then he spit on the man's tongue. Anybody willing to say, Jesus, spit on me? Hallelujah. Jesus, spit on me, God. Let me hear. Hallelujah. Let me speak what thus saith the Lord. If I got to be spit on, amen. Spit on me, God. Hallelujah. We have got to hear. This is so critical. So critical. Because if you can't hear him, just like he told his disciples, he said, you are yet Without understanding, if you can't hear him, you're not going to be able to understand what he's saying to you. He, you're not. God has given me some prophecies that I have not spoken yet. But this has delivered me. I will be speaking what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And it's going to shock some people. It's going to shock them. But I know that God spoke it. Hallelujah. He that hath an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Just speak that. The Bible also says this, that the Queen of the South were going to uh, condemn many because she came to hear what Solomon had to say. When she heard what Solomon had to say and she saw all of the splendor, this woman went away believing. Mm -hmm. She went away believing. The Bible says she's going to come and God is going to raise her up and she's going to be a witness to those who didn't hear God, who refused to hear God. But we hear you, God, and we will obey. We will speak what thus saith the Lord, and it shall be brought to pass by the Holy Spirit that said it, in the name of Jesus. So, with that said, I will be driving my new vehicle, and that's not all that we're speaking. 
We're not just speaking about things, but I know what I heard God said. Hallelujah. May God bless you and keep you. I'll see you on the road. Am I new, right?